Welcome to Automation Training Hall. In this video, we are going to learn Shift Register. So you can see the definition for Shift Register has been given. So in the Omron PLC, the Shift Register, how to use, has been given in this. So in the Shift Register block, you have three inputs. One is called as Data Input, Shift Input, Reset Input. So you can see the data input, uh, what definition they given us. The data input gathers the true or false status that will be shifted down the train. So that means uh, that status, that bit will uh, shift. So in each uh, bit we will have a status, true or false, that status will keep on shift. So when a data input is true, the first bit in the register will be 1. So this data is only entered into the register on the rising edge of the shift input. So that means we are going to use the data input to give the status whether it is true or false. But that status, the shift register, it won't accept. So in here the term train they are using, that is nothing but register, shift register. So that true and false status, it won't accept unless you give a rising edge that means a single pulse you need uh, given by the shift input so whenever the shift shift input gives one pulse then only that status uh, true or false status in uh, data input will be accepted in shift register and what is shift input now you can see it is what the clock input tells the shift register to do its thing so that means a uh, clock input means what it is going to give one pulses so if you are giving axillary relay like every two seconds or one seconds or 0.5 second one say it should give a pulse so each pulse time it will check the data input status if it is one now it will try to shift that status in the register if it is zero now it try to move that zero status in the register so on the rising edge of this input the shift register shifts the data one location over inside the register. For example, right now, the register we're using is 16 bit. So right now, when the data input is given, that uh, true or false status will be stored in first bit. So in the register, we have 16 bit. In that 16 bit, in the first bit, the status will be stored. And each time when the shift input is given, that status will moving from uh, first bit it goes to the second bit again if the shift uh, input is given now uh, it moves to the third bit so while it is moving the new data input also will keep on coming so it will keep on moving suppose if you want to reset these data now uh, for that only they are given a reset input so these are the three inputs we have to give and in the shift register, you can see we have two address, starting word, end word. So right now we are saying we want to shift. So normally only 16 bit alone we can't shift. We need sometimes more than 16 bit. So what you can do now, in the starting word, if I given the address as W0 means, in W0 we have 16 bit. So in starting address, we're giving what? Starting word as W0 end word as w2 if you given now then what happens the shifting will take place in w0 w1 w2 that means totally what happens three set of 16 bits so it will continue once first 16 bit is completed now it goes to the second 16 bit register then third 16 bit register so once the third 16 bit register is completed then that value will be erased so let's check that one. So right now in the program, I'll just delete this block. First, I'll give input. I'll give the name as data input. So the instruction is SFD. So the shifting will take place in left direction. Towards left, it will shift the bit. 
wc no so i'm giving same example w2 so totally three set of 16 so you can see it's asking three inputs already one input has been given so this will be clock input So this will be reset. So right now to understand this, we need the table. So I'll go to view windows in watch will take the table so in that i am going to give those three 16 bit address so w0 w1 w2 so you can see in each address we have 16 bit so right now if the data input if i given as one you can see that uh, true status, it is not accepted in the shift register. In W0, in the 0 of the bit, you can see that value is not accepted. So when it will accept, uh, only when the clock input is triggered, then only what happened, this one, it will accept. So you can see right now the one status, it is accepting. So in the 0 of the bit, we are getting one. So right now the data input I'll offer it. So the clock input also I will just off. So next, the data input is not given, but the clock input is given. So that means what? In data input, the status we are giving is false status. So false means zero. So due to that, when the clock input is given, so the zero bit status, it will move to first bit. And in the zero bit, what status will be there? Now? Zero status will be there. So you can see, but the clock input is given. What happened? The status has been shifted. So whatever present previously in 0th bit, it moves to 1st bit. And in 0th bit, a new status has been given as 0. So right now, this time the data input is given as 1. So true. So the, right now what happens? When the clock input is given, again it will shift. So whatever present in first bit, it will be shift to second bit. And whatever present in what? Zero the bit, it moves to first. So right now the zero the bit will be empty now. So in that time what happened? When the clock input is given, this true status will be stored in zero the bit. So it will keep on moving. So like this, our how, how many bits it will shift now? Right now we given three set of 16 bits. So keep on, it will move. So right now I can't give uh, continuously on, off, on, off like that. Because we have what? Three set of 16 bits. So what I'll do is, I'll go to, I'll uh, off the simulation mode. Instead of giving uh, as a switch, Will give the axillary relay contact. So what type of contact I'm going to give now? P underscore one second. That means every one second once it is going to give a pulse. That means it is going to give a triggering uh, signal. So whatever uh, data present in the data input, if it is true or false, it will keep on moving. So that we can check it now. So right now I'll go to simulation. So you can see every one second once what happens, it, it's uh, giving a pulse. So right now in data input, I'll just give it as one. I'll offer it. So you can see it is moving up. So right now again data input is given. But if you keep on in on state now, in each uh, clock input what happens? It take as a one and it will keep on moving. 
So you can see it is moved toward the second set of 16 bit. So once it completed the second set of 16 bit, it moves to the third set. So once third uh, set of 16 bit completed, those status will be erased. It will be lost. So this is the working principle of shift register. Suppose if you want to erase everything in between now, you can activate reset switch immediately it will become same. So that again from beginning onwards you can use it. So this is the working principle of shift register. So in the next video we'll see an example how to use this uh, shift register in real time. Thank you.